Even though this looks like a tornado just ripped through this area, it's actually a training scene right here at the Guardian Centers in Perry, Georgia. This 830-acre state-of-the-art facility is where first responders, government agencies, and the military all come to hone their skills in disaster preparedness and response. The experts here are going to show me what it's like to be in a vehicle when a tornado approaches. You know, Scott, the power of a tornado can lift and drop a car 100 feet. Absolutely. So what we're going to do is demonstrate the damage it's done by dropping one from just 30 feet. All right, let's see it. When the car hit the ground, you had all of the uh, impact from a, from a major collision. So if you were in there, you would have the stopping of, of the forward momentum causing trauma to your body. Once we dropped the vehicle and showed the uh, extent and damage that it would do there, we set up a typical situation on a divided highway in a rural area setting. The tornado approached and then uh, Jim had to react to it. There's a tornado coming. There's no shelter. I have no time. I got to get in this ditch. The National Weather Service recommends as one of the last resort options in a car to get to the nearest ditch or depression until the tornado passes. I'm at the lowest point of this ditch. Here comes the tornado. He got out of the car, got into a low-lying area, covered his head and protected it in hopes that the tornado would pass over. That's the car I was in. So if I didn't get out of it, I would have come down in that car. Obviously, we want to seek shelter within a structure. Uh, these are last ditch efforts to save your life in the event of a tornado. But if you have situational awareness and you're prepared, following these tips might help you survive. We simulated another situation where a tornado rolled the vehicle over several times. We'll bring out the cutting tools and the jaws of life. We'll actually peel the roof off this car and have access to the victim. They've got what's called the golden hour to get into surgery at a level one trauma center. Uh -huh. So 15, 20 minutes to get him out of the car. We'll put him in the back of an ambulance. He's on the way. We reenacted everything. We dropped cars, we turned them over. But these are scenarios you don't want to get in a real life situation. 